What's up, what's up everyone? Kaz here, and it's time to second Awaken Escher. Escher is one of those monsters that I saw a lot of potential in at first, uh, but I've always found him to be kind of lackluster, particularly in his survivability. Um, so, I think done right, he's going to be a powerhouse in PvP content. So, when I found out that they were going to be doing the werewolves as a second awakening, I knew this was the guy that I needed to start with. So, let's jump right in. Alright, so from the second awakening, I'm hoping that he's going to get a much better base defense. Since I always thought that this was kind of his weakest area. So, let's see how his new stats stack up. Oh, he looks really cool. Alright, so it looks like he was at 12.8 before, 300 HP, and about 100 defense. So that's actually a really good jump. So let's take a look at the runes here. Um, for runes, I've just got him on a kind of a hodgepodge set right now. Speed, crit damage, HP. Basically, I just kind of threw together whatever runes I had left over on him. And on free removal day, um, I may switch him over to Vile or Rage with much better crit if this test goes well. Alright, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take him in a guild battle and see how he does. For the first fight, we're going to go up against Theo, Vertihil, and Chasun. Basically, my strategy going into this is to lock down that Theo so that he doesn't get a turn. I've got my Lauren on Despair, so hopefully she'll stun and defense break outright. I'll buff up with Fran, and hoping that Escher will destroy Theo and strip his Endure in one turn. Hopefully that Vertihil won't outspeed my Lauren, and then Theo Vioproc me to death. So let's see how this goes. Alright, perfect. So we are faster than Verd. Beautiful, got the defense break and the stun. Let's see if Escher can finish this. And we popped the endure. We didn't. We didn't strip it. That's all right. We'll just uh, use Lauren and Fran to lock him down, and then we will finish him again. So luckily for us, Theo didn't bioproc. When Theo goes ham, it's GG. Done deal. Everyone knows it's over. So we're going to finish up the Verd here, and then we're going to take down the Chas soon. So far, Escher is not doing too bad. I'm liking him. I'm hoping next fight we're going to try to find someone a little bit more challenging and we're going to really put him to the test and see how good he does. Down goes the bird and it should be easy cleanup with Chasun. Beautiful. On the second fight, it should be over pretty quickly. I've been absolutely loving Rogue Second Awakening. This team right here eats through defenses like it's nothing. Rogue goes in, Feng does the defense break, and then Theo cleans it up. So it is usually pretty smooth sailing anytime I'm using this team. Alright, let's move on to the second fight. Alright, so for the second fight, we're going to go up against Kamun, Laura, and Eladriel. My strategy going into this is to pick off the Laura as quickly as I can and then pin down the Eladriel and finish him off before he can revive. So let's see how this goes. Alright, so for this first fight, I don't think I should have anything to worry about here. Rena is another one of those monsters that everyone should build for siege or guild battle offense. And the reason is, is because when you build her as a meat shield with 40k HP and 100 resist, uh, Sierra's not going to be landing those bombs. Any wind pandas or lagmarons or any other wind nuker is not going to be able to tear through her shield. And so basically she just kind of takes everything while you pick them off one by one. All right, so we got down the Sierra. We are working on that gene, and hopefully we'll be able to clean this up pretty quickly, and we'll see how well we do with Escher on the second fight. Boom, the gene's gone, and this Tiana should not be too far behind. Tired 
All right, perfect. Got the defense break. Fran is going to buff up. Now, the question is, do we get greedy and try to take her down? Or do we whittle her down? You know what? No, let's go ahead and speed buff. All right. And got the stun. Push back that attack bar and let's see if we can get the kill. Oh, one HP. All right, so we did get her down. And let's see if we can lock down that Eladriel now. And we didn't, so we are dealing with Laura again. And actually, since Eladriel is defense broken and a half HP, let's see if we can go ahead and finish him off before he gets a chance to heal. Uh, never mind. Scratch that. Uh, let's see if we can still take him down anyway. I really don't want to deal with the constant reviving. Alright, this is going to be quite a nuisance with that defense break and that shield on there. Do we... yeah, let's keep trying to get him down and let's see if we can make it happen. Do we get a strip? Alright, we got the strip, but not a whole lot. Man, that's a tanky Eladriel. Alright, and we're getting stunned. Alright, we need to take down that Laura. This isn't going to work. Alright, let's remove that slow from Lauren and let's see if we can pin Laura down. Strip. Got it. Got the defense break. Uh, speed buff here. And let's see if we can keep her locked down. I do not want to get stunned again. Alright, got the buff. Push that attack bar back and let's see if we can get the kill. Oh, one HP. All right, good. Got the heal block that time. All right, so let's see if we can get this Eladriel down this time before he gets a chance to revive again. So we're going to try to pin him down. Good, good, good. Got the stun. Got the heal block on there, so this should be a piece of cake this time. Let's finish him off with skill three. Perfect. And then we can clean up the Kamoon. Man, I seriously underestimated how annoying this team was going to be. All right. So on the next one, we're going to find the hardest defense we can find on this guild, and we're going to go for the win. Alright, on this last fight, what we want to do is, I think we're going to want to take down that Skogel first, just so that he doesn't bioproc and kill my entire team off in one go. Okay, why am I faster? Oh, that's right. I switched the Triton runes for the arena offense that I have. All right, so let's silence them. Good. And let's go ahead and get the bombs on there, and let's make quick work of this defense. And that should be GG. All right, can we pin down this Gogol? All right, got the defense break, buff up, and let's see what kind of damage it was. You know, let's wear him down just a little bit first. I don't want Fran to heal him up too quickly. All right, let's push it back some more. Good, got the stun. So this actually should be easy work. Let's go ahead and finish him off with Escher. Beautiful. And as long as Fanyan doesn't do his Vio thing, we should be in the clear now. Actually, you know what? I think we want to go for that Fenyon first. He is the bigger threat here, so let's see if we can push him back a little bit. Immunity so that we don't get defense broken. And let's poke him a little bit. Can we strip? Awesome. Push back his attack bar. Fran's healing speed buff here. Let's try this again. Got the stun, got the pushback, and let's hit him a little bit lower. I don't think we can quite finish him with that third skeleton. Now we can. All right, perfect. So that should be GG. Finish up the Fran, and that is it. You know, I am actually pretty impressed with Escher. I think on good runes, he's going to be a real powerhouse here and I'm actually going to find some good use for him. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you found this helpful, I would appreciate it if you subscribe, smash that like button. If you have a suggestion for a second awakening monster you'd like me to showcase, drop it down in the comments below. And until next time, peace out.